Hello, and welcome to the first demo for the Digital Library of the Middle East uh, work cycle for the first quarter of 2019. Um, the goal of this work cycle, or one of the goals of this work cycle, is to take the prototype that we had up from two years ago and make it into a more production system. And the way we want to do that is by separating out our ETL pipeline from the website. We want to make sure that all of the ETLs are repeatable and that they can be uh, performed and vetted before being pushed to the live website. And so we've developed this new architecture um, and you can see the diagram on your screen. And what we're doing is we've created a harvest repo and that is uh, foot, foot noted as number one. And what that does is it takes all of the files from our content provider, whether they're providing mods files or CSV files, and pulls them into our GitHub data repo, which is footnote number two. Um, we also are developing configs to transform that data into the DLME uh, map, or what we sometimes call the intermediate representation or IR. And we put those in uh, the repository noted as three. And we've developed a transformer, which is number four, and that reads from these two repositories, number two and three, and puts them together and makes this intermediate representation and pushes that out to S3. Um, then we've worked on the website to refactor it, and the website is number five, and what that can do now is read those S3 files the DLME IR files that are located there and expand them and push them into its database and then index them into solar. So when you go to the public website, you can then see all these new records being developed. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the actual process of doing this that uh, Justin just described. Um, this is our initial implementation. So uh, it, while functional, it may not be the most elegant and we may you know, want to do some further refinements down the road. But uh, here's the basic flow. Um, you start off at the home page of the DLME app. Uh, I am logged in as someone with the appropriate administrator privileges. And so I can start off going to site administration. The first thing I want to do is uh, make a request to transform some data. Um, here I have various options to specify the data that I want. This data is stored uh, in a GitHub repository. Uh, and I can reference paths within that GitHub repository to specify what I want to transform. Um, I can, as this example shows, I can do uh, directories, uh, I'm sorry, directories and their children, uh, or I can specify specific files. Uh, and if I just hit begin transform, it would transform everything in the repository. But let me choose something sort of in the middle. Stand for maps. And I say uh, begin transform. Brings me back to the home page. So this is where someone else on the team should be doing a uh, song and a dance routine because uh, this is going to take several minutes. Because what's happening in the background is a ECS container is spinning up. Uh, it will then go to the GitHub repo that has the configurations uh, and the metadata, uh, download them both, uh, and then perform the transform and push that up to an S3 bucket. Um, if we go into, this is sort of, you know, not part of the normal flow you would do, but if we want to observe what's happening, um, we could go in and take a look at some of the AWS administration, uh, administrative uh, interface, and we can see here's a pending task. Um, that task right uh, down here is the transform. Um, it's going to take AWS a couple minutes to spin that spin up the container where that transform will be executed. And then it'll take another few minutes, uh, for, like I said, for that the, the transform within that container to go ahead and fetch the files it needs. But we can take a look. Let's see if it's 
All right, it is now running. So theoretically, we should be able to go take a look at its logs and see what's going on. Here we go. Okay, so it's kicked off, uh, and right now it is going and fetching content from GitHub. So here it's getting the metadata, um, and here it is getting the, the traject configuration files. Um, this will all take several minutes. So hopefully, I, I've run out of things to show while I'm stalling. Uh, let's see if we can, I can sit here and refresh, but really what the user will be interacting with is back here on the website. Um, they can go back to the site administration and they can see the results, okay? And uh, at some point, uh, this will come through with the result. Uh, we'll see it in a few minutes. But let me, while we're waiting for it, let me point out a couple things. Um, this shows a successful transform, uh, and we can see that by success, and we can see it was only one record because we specified one record. Um, if we scroll down here, we can see this one failed. 27 records succeeded, um, but the 28th failed, uh, and here's complete details on uh, the, re the reasons for the failure. Um, now, typically, we wouldn't expect this to happen. We would expect the person who is working on creating the transforms to have run the, all of this locally, worked it out, uh, worked out all the, the, the kinks, so that when they actually came to do the transform for, this, for the purpose of loading the app, um, they would have successes. But you never know. All right, here we go. Okay, so this one, so I executed this against uh, Stanford Maps, um, which is the one I was just showing you before. It's not working yet, uh, and it failed with 27 records. But there's nothing that stops us from importing those 27 records. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, this is the URL in S3 where it pushed the results. So I'm gonna make a copy of that URL. Okay, I'm gonna go into an, another part of the administrative interface. Uh, exhibit dashboard. I'm gonna select items and then add items. And I have the option here under DLME S3 fetch of pasting in that URL. Hit fetch. It's gonna go ahead get that data and ingest it. And you can see 26 DLME JSON records were saved. Um, it will go ahead and do the uh, solar indexing of those as well. And they'll be available uh, from within, uh, within, within the exhibit for uh, DLME.